Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the cards, the monthly reading for Cancer for October 2017. Um, I just want to say before I start this reading, if anybody does want a personal reading with me, I am away for a week of this month, okay? So my availability is limited. If you do want a personal reading, please get in sooner rather than later to avoid disappointment because when I am away, I, I won't be able to do any readings at all, okay? So it is cutting the availability availability down this month massively okay so right cancer as I was tuning in to you um before I started this reading I really feel there's there's sort of there's a sadness linked with you okay and I feel that there could be tears this month I feel you are at a crossroads okay and you are whether you stick with what you know or go sort of in a new direction and I do feel that something is ending or something needs to end in order for you to go through because they showed me like a like a blank book you know which is ready to be written so I don't want you to see this as an ending that is sad I want you to see this as a new beginning okay so this is what they're saying but I do feel that you're stuck in in a little bit in limbo this month with this okay it's the transition from sort of the old into into the new as well and like i say there's sort of you know it's a bit like the leaves in autumn you know like they're letting go at the moment and this i feel is very symbolic for you at the moment you know letting go but letting go without a struggle okay yes there might be that barren time when winter comes but then spring will come round again and there will be new shoots and new life and this is what they're showing me that is connected with you this month cancer because when i looking at your cards i really feel there is something where it's like you cannot be bothered to fight anymore you know it's you've done all you can and you know i don't know if there's been arguments or what but there is something is stepping in the way of you being successful stepping in the way of a situation being success as well and I feel this month could be the catalyst in sort of walls come tumbling down sort of thing you know so I do feel the beginning of the month there's quite a lot of chaos and and destruction here but and confusion as well but I do feel this is the end of an old okay and this is why again they're, they're saying that there's this this newness but I feel a decision is needed by yourself in order to do this I feel there's somebody around you it's strange we got this in Taurus as well somebody who is around you who I feel is quite conniving and you know I want to say that then their words aren't nice their words aren't kind okay they're not there's somebody not kind words and it's like sort of you know what they could just say that one thing and that is it that just just draws the line for you you know this is sort of like when I'm looking at this it's like the straw that broke the camel's back okay so it might not be massive something massive big but it's something that is going to make your decision where you have been indecisive and I feel that this could be around relationships as well because when I'm looking at relationships yeah they're seeming to me to be a little bit heavy and I feel you are just exhausted with this you don't know whether you're coming you're going or going you know and you need to find security within within your life so this is about protecting you okay I feel this decision needs to be made in order to protect you and these changes need to be made in order to protect you as well you know and this is protecting your your emotional and spiritual self as well yes there is sadness here and yes it may not have worked out how you wanted it to but I feel it's time to move on this is what they're saying you know um I do feel that this could cause issues around a home or a living situation as well but I do feel that this will will work out um it's almost like here I feel like somebody is saying no I won't go you know you could be asking somebody to leave and they're saying no I'm not going to you know this person is is stubborn you know um but it's it's like they they don't want no they don't want to see the issues here it's like they are never wrong okay they're not they are not going to take responsibility for being wrong okay so they will blame and blame and blame and when they point the finger of blame there's three pointing back at them but they're not wanting to see this as sort of final if that makes sense 
but I feel you are. It's like your heart has given all that it can give. This is this is how I'm feeling. It's like your heart is empty. You need to fill yourself up. And I really feel you could be speaking to somebody regarding this as well, you know, because you need to learn to feel again properly. You're a very feeling person, Cancer. And I feel that you need to talk about your feelings as well at the moment, because at the moment you're out of balance. It's somebody has taken more from you than you're prepared to give. And this has left you pretty much on the bottom. This is what I'm seeing this month. So you need to free yourself from this because you can it can it carry on like this you are stronger than you believe cancer this is what they're showing here your inner strength is going to actually come calling this month you know and this will help you with any confusion that you're you're going to there's a real period of healing coming in for you and a real period of success okay your heart will heal this is what they're saying to me and you will stand strong and you will be your own support i feel you may be scared of letting this person go in case you you feel like you're unsupported but if you look at it this person hasn't been supporting you anyway this person has just been causing you more problems so when I'm looking at this I'm seeing you actually being much happier eventually in your sort of solo state if that makes sense because it's like you've been in limbo for a long time so this month I sort of see you taking back control okay this will cease the worry that you have and this will actually allow you to go forward it's like you are walking out of jail free you're being given a get out of jail free card this is what they're saying to you please use it you know so I feel that there is this new begin there's this renewed energy around you as well I feel feel some of you could some of you could be um it's a lot of times when a relationship breaks down or something it's very easy you know somebody once said it's 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 the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody i don't agree with that and this is what these cards are saying okay so be careful that you don't actually sort of shut the door on somebody and then jump into bed with somebody else because i don't feel that would serve you well okay Tap in with your gut and see if it feels right. And I don't feel that it will. OK, this is about you actually not trying to mask or cause more problems. This is about you actually making yourself whole in yourself without actually, you know, looking for some quick fix, you know, because I feel that would just make you struggle, struggle more cancer. OK, so there's a lot of things I think you've been holding into yourself that are going to come to the surface this month okay but this is really good because it's quite a lot of this in the readings this month this is going to allow you to sort of look at your career throw yourself into your career and throw yourself into what you do want okay now some of you may even find out a partner has been cheating or something like that but what you need to look at with that is at least you then know that this person couldn't be trusted okay so this is freeing you in order to go out and and find your happiness okay so like i say if there is something breaking down here it's only to break you free okay this is like the universe sort of you know like like wanting to help you in a way they're also telling you to look at past relationships or something that has happened in the past which is similar and know that you got through that okay you may think that you're not as wise now you may think that you're not as sort of emotionally intelligent now yes you are this is just fear trying to keep you stuck so don't feed the fears this is what it's saying you know you need to actually embrace life again you need to actually have joy in your life and this is giving you this month you are being given a chance of sort of a chance of happiness a chance to discover what makes you happy again i do feel that there is somebody new coming in for you as well and i feel perhaps a fire sign um but there is somebody who is going to uh, like sort of get your attraction um and i feel that this person could actually sort of you know be the person that would give you happiness and give you the solidity that you want because i do feel that by the end of this month there could be new love coming in or there could be an introduction to something or somebody that will bring new love in 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 the future okay so as we are going even though the beginning of the month they're showing me the beginning of the month can start quite dark it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter and getting so much brighter by the time we get to the end of it and then did you see the lights just come on there <laughs> how amazing was that yeah this is it you are 
you are moving on okay but there's a door needs to be shut cancer you know in order for this new one to open but like i say there may be a few tears but dry your eyes mate you know there's plenty more fish in the sea that's coming through there that's the what's that is it the um the street song isn't it um but yeah that's that's what's coming through there so like i say this is actually a really positive reading cancer don't worry about it it's it's a good one this is moving you forward brilliant energy coming in by the end of this it's time for you to write your new book okay this is it Right, okay, I'm going to pull a spirit card for you and see what we have. Right, honesty. Okay, this is a card called honesty and it says, Love, compassion and truth will heal the present situation. Be honest with yourself, discover what it is you truly desire and speak your truth clearly. Always speak with love and compassion and know that the truth will never harm anyone when it's spoken from a place of love. Now, this is a very healing card as well, and I feel this healing is to do with you. You know, this is about you finding your voice, about speaking again. Once you do that, you will start to heal, and I feel healing is massively needed here, but you need to be honest with everybody, yourself included, okay? So I hope that made sense, Cancer. Please let me know if it did. Uh, and like I say, if any of you would like a personal reading, please get in touch via my website, Um the link is below but i will be the availability is limited for this month okay and can i please ask if you don't mind to like share and subscribe if you haven't already to these videos it it helps this channel to run and carry on you know and it helps me to keep these readings free as well this is what i'm desperately trying to do you know but i need that little bit help to sort of spread the love a little bit okay so have a fabulous month like i say from the darkness comes light cancer satnam